Well, everyone, I ignored the uh, mess in the background here because it's a little bit serious, but uh, I am quitting YouTube and deleting my channel. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, as you guys have noticed, the uh, past, I want to say like three weeks or so at this point, probably a whole month at this point, uh, my uploads have been kind of sporadic, not on time. Uh, I personally felt that they have been subpar edited, not very well done, I should say. So just all in all, I haven't been satisfied with the work I've been doing. I haven't been up too much. So unfortunately, just I just feel like the time has come and that I'm not cut out for it anymore and don't have the resources or time to manage everything properly and just, yeah. I got you guys, it's so good. You guys thought I was about to quit the channel. No, I'm not quitting the channel. I can't believe you guys would actually believe that. No, I'm I'm kidding guys, I'm not quitting the channel. Uh, but however, the title is correct. Uh, I am making some big changes. But first of all, I'm not bringing down the mood just yet because I just hit, I believe, well not right now, but uh, I believe it was last week, I actually officially hit 100 subscribers. I think as of right now, I'm at 101. and went back to 100 and then now someone else subscribed just yesterday. Uh, and now I'm back at 101 subscribers. So thank you guys so much, it's been, Four years, I think, in the making in total. Uh, back when I was in California, I took a break, did a little bit in Great Lakes, took a break. Now I'm back here in, in Florida, back at it. And I couldn't be ever more grateful because 100 subscribers, that's my first big mile mark. I can't believe I made it. I can't believe 100 people want to subscribe to me and watch the content that I put out. So thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart because this is just the start once again. But as I said in the title and as I said before and whatnot, there are a few changes that I will be making to the channel very soon. The number one thing that you guys are going to notice is that I'm only going to go back to one video a week. Uh, most likely it's going to be every Wednesday at noon. Um, strictly because, like I said, I um, I just don't have enough time to get around to it right now. Um, earlier this month in September, I started a big project that's going to be done in the background. Uh, I will be announcing that shortly after the New Year's type of time frame. Um, of what it is and what I've been working on and whatnot because it's kind of like a longer term development type of thing um, And it's personal development type of thing, which I'm super proud of super happy about super excited to share with you guys down the road So between work flyaways uh, This background project I have and maintaining a personal life all along with editing videos and making content is just gonna take up a lot of time uh, It's gonna be a lot for me to balance especially with work being unpredictable flyaways being unpredictable people coming and going depending on who I can hang out with at what time. There's just a lot going on that I'm trying to balance right now because this background project has brought a big change uh, that I haven't seen in the past five years or so uh, to light. So I'm going through working on balancing that, making it right, but the content won't stop because I will be making a video once a week. The other big thing regarding content is I do have a lot of stuff planned. Um, a lot of it's just prep work. Uh, having to schedule everything. I literally have a video that I was talking with people about this past week um, about something really big that we'd all be excited to do. I actually have the supplies for that project. Uh, some of you guys might know what they are. Um, it's just a matter of finding a time and a place to actually do that because it will require a little bit of an area to do. Um, I do have some other stuff I want to do, some stuff I want to record, uh, and some events that are actually played out in town that we're going to be go going out and doing very soon. Um, and then obviously I have some car stuff that I have to balance and figure out work between uh, between all the stuff that I've been doing. I'm trying to find time to actually go do that. Uh, and then some house projects, obviously. So there's a lot that I have the potential to do. Unfortunately, time is just gonna be the one thing that is holding me back. So guys, be ready for that change because after this video, it's gonna be starting this next week that every Wednesday, one video will be coming out. I'll make sure I'll have content for you guys because I have obviously stuff I wanna do. I just have to do it. No matter how I manage my channel, what I do, what kind of content I put out and how often I put it out, Thank you guys for supporting me because without the encouragement that you guys give me to actually want to watch my videos, uh, I wouldn't make the videos. So to everyone at work who says they watch my video or made fun of me about watching my videos or whatnot, thank you guys because that still makes me smile and makes me think that I'm doing something right. So I'm going to continue doing it. Uh, to my family, thank you for supporting me, uh, even though I'm not 100% child, child friendly at all times. So, But thank you for enjoying to watch my life and support me along the way. And There's so much more that we're gonna be doing, both kid-friendly and not kid-friendly, so be prepared for that. And to close out this video, I was gonna do a whole other uh, video uh, over the Q&A, but uh, you losers didn't ask me questions on my Instagram or Facebook. 
Only three people did. So I'm going to answer those questions now because I appreciate them for asking questions and wanting insight into my life and supporting my channel. So here we go. Number one, Cami, who is from my school uh, back when I was in P Pennsylvania, uh, asked, what am I up to in life and Navy wise? Well, Cami, thanks for your question. Uh, what am I up to in life? A lot, but not too much at the same time, to be honest. So uh, like I said, there's that background project I'm working on that I will discuss later down the road. Uh, other than that, I've been doing stuff, obviously at work, helping out with uh, preparation for maintenance, stuff like that. I've been doing a little bit of maintenance. I just came back from a flyaway in August. Uh, and right now, my ship is in this like intermittent period, period because our last ship got decommed. We're waiting on the new ship to come down. So we're kind of just going with the flow right now at work. Um, so not too much is going on to that front. Uh, and then when I'm at home, I'm working on that personal project. And then I'm also working on just stuff around the house. Uh, I just painted some stuff outside that I actually power washed. Uh, I just actually, this morning I power washed some of my driveway because it's super dirty. It's got molded and stuff growing all over it. So I power washed that. Uh, I actually have to go uh, cut my grass at some point, probably tomorrow. Uh, so just working at home, trying to relax. Uh, between work and this personal project trying to make sure I'm not too stressed and stuff like that but uh, I will be doing a video about other Navy stuff that I'm doing uh, very soon um, I just got to coordinate with a few people and get some logistical stuff with that uh, but you'll be hearing about some of that stuff very soon the next question uh, sent in by Megan thank you Megan for your question said who is the biggest inspiration in your life obviously this could go a few different ways I want to say if, if it's not family related I want to say one of my inspirations is Tom Cruise. I really don't like Tom Cruise as a person because he's really rude, uh, but I kind of like who he is. He's a, he has very professions. He has a lot of licenses that I want to get. He does skydiving. He does stunt stuff. He does pretty cool action stuff. Uh, and I kind of want to do that. Like he's, uh, he's, as the gamers say, he's completed his main quest. And he's do a bunch of side quests at this point. So that's kind of what I want to do is I've, I've, I know my role. I know what I'm doing in life and I kind of want to go out and do some cool other stuff that many people don't get the opportunity to do uh, and kind of make that part of my personality and explore my options about what I have and what I can do and stuff like that. So yeah, as for family side, I would say my parents are my inspiration because they uh, obviously set me up to be who I am. They led me to where I'm at now. They helped influence my life. They taught me lessons that I haven't forgotten and I will never forget. Uh, they've introduced me to many different opportunities. They kind of let me do my own thing and experience life for myself while kind of keeping me on the right track. Um, but one of the big things is they've also retired super early compared to other people. My dad retired at 50. My mom stopped working uh, a lot earlier than that. I forget her exact age. Um, but she, they both got done with work early and now they have time to explore and do some stuff that they want to do and relax and focus on themselves. And that's probably one of the goals that I have in life is set myself up for success so that way in the long run, I can get done with work early, come home, be with my family, be with my friends, uh, possibly put out more content if I'm doing YouTube that time, but just to appreciate and enjoy life more at that point when I can get to the same point or same position that they're in today. And the final question comes from my Facebook from Mia. Uh, and Mia actually asked two questions. So you're kind of pushing, you're kind of pushing the limit, Mia, but I'm gonna let it slide this time. So the first one she asked, she said, what, what superpower would I not want? And then the second one is, what mystical creature would you want to be? What superpower would I not want would be, I don't know. Because there's a lot of cool superpowers. What I wouldn't want would be something like uh, very, I don't know, I don't want to say redundant or mundane, but like, think about like people who want to visit, to people who want to be invisible. Like, you can be invisible, but like, even Incredibles and The Boys and other superhero shows and movies that have people who go invisible, you have to have like either a special suit or you have to get naked. And I don't want to get naked to go invisible because like what if it wears off and I, I'm visible and then I'm just publicly naked and then I'll get arrested for indecent, public indecency and stuff like that. So, And I don't have the resources to actually make uh, a, uh, a super suit that will turn invisible like Violet from The Incredibles. So... I guess there's multiple ways you can look at that, but I would say invisibility. It's kind of uh, mundane. Yeah, it's just it's just kind of boring too. So it's not like flight where you can fly super fast or super speed where you can run everywhere, uh, which are very kind of stereotypical, but hey, they're kind of cooler than being invisible. And the second question, uh, what mystical creature would I want to be? Uh, I've always liked a phoenix. I don't know why. I think they look cool. 
I think it's cool that it could just burst into flames and it'd be young again or disappear altogether. Uh, you know, in situations where I'm stressed out or I don't like people, I can just poof, poof, poof into flames and then uh, disappear. So, yeah, I feel like that would be a... And they could fly. I always wanted to fly. And I thought birds were cool. I've always liked birds, so, yeah. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for so much support. Thank you guys for understanding uh, the changes that are going to be coming down the road uh, and adapting to my personal lifestyle because it can be difficult or frustrating sometimes. Trust me. I know it's my life. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are excited for that content and everything I have to come down the road because I look forward to giving to you guys and putting it out there. And to show your support, hit that like button for this video, all my past videos, and all the future videos because I greatly appreciate every bit of support, like I said. With that being said, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the very next one very soon. Peace out.